of our most asked questions is how we foil our wedding invitations and I'm going to show you how to do that today. We use the Heidi Swap Mink. It is fantastic. I wouldn't recommend using a laminator. It doesn't get hot enough. This one has five settings and five is pretty hot. Um, it's best used on very smooth matte papers or even very smooth metallic papers. If the paper is coarse or textured, I would not recommend using it. It will not transfer very well. This is the design I've chosen and I've gone ahead and foiled the design ahead of time just to show you what it looks like. But this is what we're going to be doing today. Two transfer folders come in the starter pack when you purchase the mink. Um, but we've gone ahead and purchased more transfer folders because we use them pretty much on a daily basis and they do tend to get a little bit worn and, and grubby. So I'm going to show you that's what comes in the pack. I've gone ahead and cut one down. It looks like that. First of all, I'm going to turn the applicator on. The on switch is just here. And then I'm going to choose my heat setting. I'm going to use my heat setting number four. That will flash red until it is ready and then it will go green. While we're waiting for that, I'm going to go ahead and put my design in the transfer folder. Now that's just gone a solid green so we know it's ready. But we'll keep going with the foil. So we put the design down. Heidi Swap makes a very large range of foils, but because we use a lot of foils, we buy in bulk and it just looks like this. It's the same foil as what you can get from any store that sells Heidi Swap products. I've gone ahead and cut some ahead of time. I'm just going to lay it over my design. A hack I've come up with along the way is to actually use parchment paper or baking paper to put over the design. That will just stop the toner from the names transferring to the actual folder. I'm going to close it up. Now this was the close side. This was the open side. We're going to put it into the machine close side first. Push it in until it starts rolling it itself. It should only take about 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, it's come through the other end. I'm going to turn the machine off. Let's see what it's done. Move this out of the way. Now for the fun part. It's adhered beautifully. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous metallic look. Definitely stunning. So that's all ready to go onto your invitation card.